Along with groups, components are a vital part of the workflow in SketchUp. The object I have on my screen right now was not created using a group or a component or anything like that. It's just a very basic shape. And we're going to go through the process of how you make a component and what that means and how you can edit it. So what I'm going to do is a triple click to select my entire object. That's also a good way to check and see if it's a component or anything, and it's not. Then I'm going to right click. We have a variety of options here, including make group, but what we want to do is say make component. When we do that, it lets us first of all come in and name it. If you're going to be making a series of things, you're going to be having a library of components, having them named component one, two, three, and so on is not very useful. So you can go in and name this, you know, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. Maybe something like that. You'll see that you could also give it a description and then edit the alignment. So you can come in and say that it will only work on horizontal, vertical slope surfaces, anything like that. I'm just going to say none for this particular example, but you have a lot of options. You also have the option of always face camera, and that means that it will turn to the direction of the camera no matter what. That's really useful for flat two-dimensional objects and that person that's standing at the axis mark when you first open the program, it's usually Susan, she's a component that's facing the camera and turns around. We also can say, do we want to replace the selection with the component, yes or no? You wouldn't have to, but I'm going to say yes, let's create that. It's going to basically look very much like a group at this point. It will have that big frame around it. I can click off of it and then just onto it to select it one time as opposed to having to triple click. So the behaviors on that level are very much the same. What I'm going to do is actually make a copy of this. Grab my move tool, hit control, and I'll make maybe just a couple of copies so we have a few in a row. So now we have three examples of that component. If I make a change to that, if I right click and say edit component, you're going to watch something very interesting happen. If we edit a group, it will only happen on the one object. But with a component, we can come in, make a change, and it will happen to every instance of that component in the project. So if you had, you know, a whole series of columns or chairs or something like that, you could come in, make a very simple edit, and it would happen to all of them entirely. And that's the really powerful thing about components. If you edit one, they'll all update. So to do that again, you simply select a component, right click, say edit component, make whatever change it is that you want to make, you'll see that it happens to all of the components in your model, and then you can just click out of that. If you only want to change one component and leave the others the same, you can simply click on the component, right click, and say make unique. That will make this one component a unique special component and it won't affect the others. I'll say make unique, I will come in, make my change, say edit component, and get out of there. And this one did not affect the others. These two, however, are still linked, if you will. because those were not made unique. So that's really the powerful aspect of making something a component. You have the ability to go in and change and make modifications to all of them if you want to, or simply make them unique and edit them individually.